I'd say 99% of patients after hip replacement are extremely happy and for a long period of time. And the same is true about the knee. Uh, but there are times where they go wrong. Uh, things that can go wrong, infection, mechanical breakdown, uh, dislocations or instability, or, or persistent pain can happen. A lot of times those are after a very long life of an implant, maybe 20 or even 30 years, and they just need to be redone. Just like the tires of your car would wear out and you would need new tires eventually. So there are times where joints break down, sometimes earlier than we would expect, and they need to be redone. Sometimes that can be a major endeavor, replacing everything that was already put in and taking out the old parts. Sometimes it can be a single component that needs to be replaced or revised. Not all patients are candidates for revision surgeries. One thing that's very important is to have a plan. Uh, what I don't like to do is exploratory surgery and try to guess what's wrong. Uh, most of the time, I like to try to diagnose before we go into an operating room, what's wrong with this? Is it an infection? Is it a mechanical loosening? Is it instability? Is it malposition of implants? Um, the more information I have up front, the better the plan I have up front, the better the outcome. There are times where patients have persistent pain after a hip or a knee replacement, and I really can't figure out why, and in those situations, I don't think that they're necessarily a good candidate for a surgery, but sometimes they are and it's worked out fine. Um, there are patients who just aren't candidates for revision surgery. Sometimes that's, there's a medical reason for that. They just couldn't tolerate the, the really big endeavor of undergoing a big operation like that. Um, their medical doctor, their cardiologist may not think they're a good candidate for it. And there are times where there's so much bone loss or, or so much scar tissue that I don't think it's technically possible. I recently saw a, a patient who actually was a nurse at another hospital. Uh, she'd had a knee replacement done, and it had had a pretty catastrophic failure, mechanical failure. And she was a pretty tough lady, so she was actually able to still work through it and, and function relatively well, but her walking was, was really terrible. And she was told by someone nothing could be done, that it couldn't be fixed. And I, I looked at her, I can't, and she came in, and she said, can you fix this? And I said, I think I can. And she walked into my office about three or four days ago and with a cup of coffee in her hand, and I said, where's your cane? And she said, I don't need a cane anymore. And that was awesome, to, to see a smile on her face and her walking and back to work and happy, and to know that I really practiced. I, I didn't save her life in the, in the sense of it, but I really got her life back together again, and I, it's really rewarding to know how happy I made her. If there's one thing that a patient should know about the joint replacement program at Beth Israel Deaconess in Milton is that you'll get very personalized care. The providers, uh, including the surgeons, therapists, nurses, anesthesiologists, are very dedicated to good outcomes and personalizing your care so you get the exact care you need. It's a small hospital, but it can take on just about anything. And so far in my time here, I've been very impressed with how, how well coordinated the care is and how good the outcomes have been.